SolidWorks Visualize is a powerful rendering software that creates highly realistic representations of your model, which can be done in just a matter of minutes. Custom appearances and textures can be applied, background environments can be added in, camera adjustments can create custom viewing angles, all combined into a high-resolution rendering. Let's take a look at how to quickly create a rendering of this Parrot drone using Easy Mode. With Visualize open, I can import the model and create a high-quality rendering in just a few easy steps. One of the quickest ways to do this is to enable Easy Mode, which simplifies the user interface. This can be enabled from the View menu at the top or by pressing the spacebar on your keyboard. The steps shown below take me through the essential workflow of creating a rendering. First, I'll import the model. I'll click on the Import icon below. Then browse to find the SolidWorks assembly file. I'll select it and then click Open to import the model. This brings up the Import Settings dialog box, which determines how the appearances are grouped together. In many cases, you want the part grouping option to be set to Appearance if the faces in the model have specific appearances added to them. In other cases, Automatic is a good option, as Visualize will detect matching appearance settings and group them together. I'll select Appearance for now. I'll also make sure I enable Apply Auto Size to make sure that this model isn't undersized or oversized on import, since in this case the model wasn't created to scale in SolidWorks. I'll also turn off Environments at the top, which will later enable me to apply my own scene and environments. With these options set, I'll click OK. This imports the model into Visualize, and I'll rotate it by holding the Alt key and left clicking to move the camera to look at the front of the model. With the model imported, I can modify its appearances by clicking on Paint, which allows me to drop colors and textured materials onto the model. For instance, if I want to make sure the camera lens on the front is transparent, I can click on Paint, toggle to the library view to access a suite of colors and textures, select the glass folder, and drag transparent glass directly onto the camera lens in the model. Similarly, if I wanted to change the red color on the model to yellow, I can go to the Paint folder, and drag and drop yellow paint onto the red faces in the model. This replaces all of the faces using the same red color in SolidWorks. There are a few other faces grouped together using the same red color, so I'll drag the same yellow onto those faces as well. To speed up this process on your model and update colors simultaneously, just copy and paste the appearance of one face onto all of the other faces in SolidWorks before importing the model. Now I want to add a background scene to the model to give it the appearance that the model is existing in a real-life setting. To do this, I'll click on Scenes, switch to the Library view, which provides a number of high-quality environments, and drag the Downtown scene into the view. This provides a background scene as well as specific ambient lighting that's reflected on the model. Next, I can work with the camera, which specifies the viewing angle, perspective, and focus on the design. I'll click on Camera, and some options appear. I can switch to any of the orthographic views, such as the right view or the top view. If I want to control the camera angle manually, I can hold down the Alt key and click and drag the left mouse button. Similarly, I can hold Alt and click the middle mouse button to pan, and hold Alt and click the right mouse button to zoom in and out. I'll quickly adjust a couple of the settings for the camera. I'll set the brightness to 1.1 to boost it a bit, drag the perspective slider until it's around 60 to broaden the view and come in closer on the model, and enable the boost mode to increase the color contrast. Now the model really pops on screen and looks ready to be rendered out. Rendering the model is the last step in Easy Mode. Before I click on it, which would begin rendering the model, I'll right-click to bring up the different render modes. There are a number of options here. Be sure to check the format, size, and number of frames you want to output. I'll choose Normal for now, and when I click the Render button, the render begins. Once the render is processed and completes all of the frames, 
a high-quality rendering of the model is created all in a few easy steps.